Okay, now we have reached the point of the course where we will demonstrate the skill of how to help an infant who is choking. If you would, please turn your combo books to page um, 57 for reference of this skill. In this skill, I will be able to demonstrate to you how to uh, correctly do the skill, and then you will all be able to practice the skill demonstrating it back to me after I provide each of you with a scenario. So in this section, the first thing you always want to remember is we discussed before with CPR, so always assess the scene for safety. So in any situation, you want to make sure that you assess the scene and make sure it's safe for you to go in. So after you've identified that it's safe for you to go in, and you're going to help in a situation where the infant is choking, you want to grab the infant and establish if there's a response for the infant. If the infant is responsive, but yet has all signs of choking, meaning there's no laughing, there's no talking, no giggling, no coughing, and the airway appears to be totally occluded, then you want to demonstrate these skills, which I'm going to demonstrate to you, to be able to help the infant uh, clear the airway. So the first thing after you already establish that the scene is safe for you to go in and you've picked up the infant and identify that they're choking, is you want to either sit down or get down into a kneeling position. You want to put the infant in a lower, uh, the, with the head lower than the rest of the body on your forearm, facing down, supporting the head. You want to provide five back slaps, and it's important to make sure that your five back slaps are just between the shoulder blades. One, two, three, four, five. You want to roll the infant over face up. Remember to keep the head in a lower position than the rest of the body. You want to immediately provide five chest thrusts. One, two, three, four, five. And this is just below the nipple line. After you provide the five chest thrusts, it's important to look inside of the infant's mouth. If you see the object that um, caused the airway to be obstructed, you may finger sweep it up. If you do not see an object, do not perform a blind finger sweep. If you don't see the object, you want to immediately turn the infant back over and again provide five chest thrusts. One, two, three, four, five. Roll the infant back over, face up. Remember to keep the head down and provide five chest thrusts. One, two, three, four, five. Again, checking them out. You want to continue to perform these skills until the airway becomes unoccluded or either the infant becomes un unresponsive. If the infant becomes unresponsive, then you want to perform the skills which we demonstrated earlier for infant CPR. Now at this time, I will provide a scenario and each of you will have the opportunity to demonstrate these skills which I just demonstrated to you.